Jimmy Stewart always said that the one thing that kept him from being really thrilled about winning the Oscar for this movie is the fact that one of the five actors he was competing with for the Best Actor Prize that year was his closest friend, Henry Fonda. Fonda up that year for The Grapes of Wrath. And Fonda in The Grapes of Wrath delivered what Jimmy Stewart and everybody else considered one of the really great performances of all time. The rest of the competition for that 1940 Best Actor Prize was equally formidable, I must say. Lawrence Olivier in Rebecca, Charlie Chaplin in The Great Dictator, Raymond Massey in Abe Lincoln in Illinois. Terrific performances, all of them. By the way, I love the tongue-in-cheek speech that writer Donald Ogden Stewart gave that year when he won the Oscar for the screenplay of The Philadelphia Story. He says, there's been so much niceness here tonight that I just want to say that I am entirely and solely responsible for the success of The Philadelphia Story. Up next, our 31 Days of Oscar Festival continues with a heavenly comedy with Robert Montgomery, Evelyn Keyes, and the great Claude Rains. Tonight on TCM's 31 Days of Oscar, Claude Rains decides heaven can wait for Robert Montgomery, and here comes Mr. Jordan. Then Orson Welles gets the last word when death comes to Citizen Kane. And Greer Garson's life is a battlefield in Mrs. Miniver.